today I'll be bringing you a video of the five outcomes of Valentine's Day. Enjoy. So, um, the five outcomes of Valentine's Day. First off, let's just discuss Valentine's Day. Gather around, children, get your drinks, because the show starts in your So, the first outcome of Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is a depressing but such an exciting day for everyone. It's depressing for the people who just can't find love this year. Come on, 2016 is still not the year for you, so stop eating chocolates and crying and start watching some of my videos because it's just gonna help you. So, um, I think everyone, at least someone out there watching this video, has this outcome of Valentine's Day. And the outcome of Valentine's Day means what actually happens after the romance has ended. After Valentine's Day, you, the days just go back to normal, your relationship has gone back to normal, girls have stopped getting, stopped getting sitting down watching love movies with the you know, little boyfriend and they're back in the kitchen. <laughs> oh my god, this is bad. Oh no, sorry, don't take offence. Uh, but it's just it's just a normal day. But for the girls, that's why it's so special. Because it's one day for your, you know, boyfriend to, you know, cherish you and give you stuff. But the next day he won't he won't think twice about it. So for the first outcome of Valentine's Day, you have the couple that just, you know, they just overdo it. They just the couple that will book reservations to the fanciest restaurant, and if they don't go to the fanciest restaurant and don't make it the special night of their life, the best night that they've ever had, they she will basically throw a fit. I want ice cream. I want ice cream. I want. I want ice cream. I want ice cream. I want ice cream. I want ice cream. Physically, like throwing books. These just don't care. They just, they just don't care. They literally like my parents. They just, they, they care about Valentine's Day. It's a very special day, but they just, they, they're not gonna spend sixty quid on a meal that they're not gonna enjoy. They're gonna go, go to McDonald's, go to Burger King, go to Subway, order in a takeaway, and literally watch The Housewives of. Ch they're literally not going to watch anything, anything romantic, anything, like, the, the boy would probably want to watch, like, I don't know, Scream 4 or Chucky 2. The girl would probably want to watch something around that line. They would just order a takeaway and then fall asleep at, like, 1 o'clock in the morning with each other's hands down the pants. It is, <laughs> it's, it's true, though. So the third one is pretty much the one that we all just... We want to live up to the first one, but we're just, it ends up being reality. The third one is the people who aren't even aware that it's Valentine's Day. I swear I'll probably do this when I'm older, but they will literally, they're the couple that sleep through it quite literally. They won't even know, It'll, they'll have to check social media to see from the, one of their friends asking them or sending them a picture of what their partner gave them as a present and then they'll just both look at each other in a synchronised motion and they'll just put their phones down and they'll just go up and one of them will get up and one of them will come back half an hour later with a piece of paper addressed to their lover, like Sean or something Happy Valentine's Day from Sophie. At least she bothers. <laughs> it's a sock bunny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you remember how I call you bunny? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> well, I did one time and, and I want to start doing it more. <laughs> See, that's what this is about. Uh, it's fourth one. Nearly the final one. This is the one where the boy and the girl, you know, they're all hyped up to this, this Valentine's Day, or at least one of them is. And you know, they're actually, the girl is like, come on, come on, let's go, let's go shopping for, you know, some, some uh, 
Valen I mean, um, Val Valerie's birthday. Yeah, right then. Thinking that, it, yeah, I'm gonna buy me sort of, buy a, oh, we, we're actually going Valerie's birthday. No, the girl wants to go. Valentine's Day shopping. That's the cue that everyone misses. Well, at least most, the majority of boys. They'll forget to buy their girlfriend a present when they get the cue to go off. You end up going in game or going in GameStop or anything that is is boy related. Which who wants to go to jewelry jewelry shop? You're going game and she'll go in game and you'll both meet at the counter and like you'll say what are you doing here and then the girl will be like i'm buying you your valentine's day present get your ass over to victoria's secret and you're getting me and that is the reality like i can't fight against that the fifth and final one is the last one where you are that desperate you haven't got out of the maturity zone of wanting to have something to do with the day because you probably feel some sort of like I want to be part of this so you'll do anything in your way to get a valentine and that my friends is valentine's day